Greetings people. Welcome to Nostic Academy. If this is your first time being on this channel, Nostic Academy, on this channel we look at different to our lessons or subjects including mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, English, civic education and other subjects like commerce and principles of accounts. Now, in this video, we're going to look at mathematics paper, paper 1 of 2024 GCE, question 13, 17, and the last question, which is question 23. Other questions, so if somebody may ask, well, how about other questions? Other questions have been covered in part 1, part 2, and part 3. This is the fourth video of this series, the fourth and the last video of mathematics paper 1 2024 okay so you can go to the playlist of mathematics gce paper 1 of 2024 you'll find all other or other parts so let's get started question 13 reads given that y varies directly as x and inversely as the square of z and that uh, x is 8 when y is 4 and z is 2 find the a constant of variation okay now how we solve this this is variation of course okay variation so the first thing here what we're going to do the first thing we're going to interpret this statement into variation symbol okay like this so it will be since it is y is this is the joint variation it's a combination of direct and inverse variation so this is a joint variation now it's saying y like this varies directly as x and just to put this period or full stop here and inversely one over and inversely as the square of z meaning z is squared not square root, but it's the square of what? As the square of z. Now, what you do here, you introduce, you make this one as an equation, you produce the uh, form of an equation, I mean. So, you replace this relation symbol with an equal sign, then multiply x times 1, it, become, it becomes x, and the, the constant of variation k appears, so it will be k x over z squared okay i said multiply this x times one it will be just x then introduce the constant of variation which is just what k so this is the formula we are going to use okay in other questions as well so the first question we asked to find the constant variation k not to find this expression connecting y k uh, uh connect constant i mean this uh, variation we're not asked to come up with this equation or function, no. We're just come, we're asked to come up with the variation k, constant of variation. So what you do is, let's substitute what you are given in the question here to find, to solve for k. So x, so let's start with y since this is the first one. y is 4, like this. k we don't know. x is 8, so we're going to put 8 there. Then z is 2 which is 2 rd, 2 squared, okay, so 4 is equals to uh, 8k, k times 8 is 8k, 2 squared is 4, okay, 4 into 8 is 2, so we have 4 is equals to 2k over 2, we want to find the value of k, so we're going to divide both sides by 2 to get rid of to make k independent therefore the value of k which is the constant of variation is equals to 2 into 4 2 so the constant of variation is 2 so if you wanted here you can just cross multiply it will be 4 times 4 16 then you're going to divide by 8 8 into 16 it is 2 that's one and the same thing okay having found the value of k let's go to okay question. so the second question we are asked to find the value of y when x is 18 and z is 3. 
So what we're going to do since this is question B, we're going to write we're going to write okay, we're going to write this formula, this formula, copy the formula which is y is equals to k x over z what z squared. Then substitute the value y will be just y x k is 2 here already calculated as 2 so we're going to substitute with 2 2 times what is x x is 18 okay divided by z d squared okay z d squared which will be just 3 squared like this then then here make it simple Make it simple because um, 3 to the power 3 is 9, okay? So you can just say 2 over, um, uh, 2 times 18 over 9, 9 here 1, 9 into 18 2 times. The value of y is equal to 2 times 2, 4. The value of y is what? Is 4, okay? That is the value of y. Now... The second question, the last question, you ask, they are asking us to find the values of z when x is 25 and y is 2. So using the same formula, we're going to say y is equals to kx over z squared. Okay? Then we're going to say y, the value of y is 2, this one. K is a constant of variation, which is also 2. X is 25. Z squared is just Z squared here. Okay. We cross multiply. We're going to, ha we're going to have 2. Z squared is equals to 2 times 25. There's a reason why I've done this. Over 2. We want to simplify. Since th this is paper 1, you're not supposed to use a calculator. So make every calculation, whatever you are doing, simple. Okay, so over to even this side. So z squared is equals to 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 2, uh, 1. So remain with 20, 25. When you reach this stage, you are going to you square root both sides. Okay, you square root both sides like this. Then we're going to say this power and this square root symbol cancel. So z is equals to the square root of 25 is 5 or negative what? Negative 5. So we have two answers, positive 5 or negative, negative 5. So this is the answer or the solutions to, um, to this question and a variation. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe and like the video.